If you know me a few years ago, you should know that I made a video on how to make the straw star. I feel the need to redo this video and also show you guys a new technique to add layers of color. I really like this one because it looks like watermelon. Well, let's jump right into it. I'm using three different colors of straws. First, you want to start out by rolling the straws onto your fingers to flatten it. After you release it, fold it in half to find the center point. Then use a scissor and cut the center point diagonally. See how it should look like a two pointy edges? And go ahead cut the second one as well. But keep one straw uncut, that is gonna be the center color. Go ahead roll it onto your finger like so, and then release it. Find the center point. Okay, the first step, you want to make sure the straw is at 90 degrees. When you do that, you will see a small triangle form in the center. The next step, I basically roll the whole entire triangle backward and fold the other side straw over the one that we just fold under. Now you should see a square shape that's been divided by a center line. Use the center line as a guide and fold the whole entire straw to the opposite side. Now you can crisscross the straw to create a small triangles. As you can see, now you made two of them. Again, use the center line as a guide and fold the whole entire straw to the opposite side. And crisscross the straws and you just made another triangle. You want to continue making these triangles by using the same method until you get 5 of them. Well, we need 5 of them is because stars has 5 points. And of course, if you want your star to have 6 points, well, you could try that too. But I am just gonna stick with a normal star. This is kind of the hardest part, it's looping the stars together. Basically, you're taking the first triangle that you make and wrap the existing loose straw over it. So if you look really carefully, all you see is just crisscrossing and wrapping the straw over each triangle. At first, it may not look like a star, but once you start wrapping more straw over it, then it's starting to get fatter. And that's when it becomes cute. When you get close to the end of the straw, insert the next color straw into the first color. You should find it very easy to insolve since it has a pointy edge. And that's how easy just to add the color. Basically, now you're just wrapping it like you normally would. Yep, this is how easy it is. And it's amazing how a little technique like this will create such a beautiful layer of color. If you only like two colors, you can stop at that point, but I feel the need to add more color to it, and that's why I add another color. Mm, I think things that look so cute when it's chubby and round. It might get a little harder to work with to the end since it's getting bigger. Basically, you just have to pay attention to the edges, make sure it lines up properly. But overall, you pretty much will get the idea of it once you start making it. Now to close the straw off, you will see these little tiny openings left behind by overlapping the straw. And just insert one of the loose straw to it and pull it tight. Hmm, this is a pretty good combination of color. Now just take the scissor and trim off any excess straws. They're very decorative, and they could be given as a gift as well. And it depends on how many stars you give, it has different meanings. For example, if you give one, it means love. And if you had the time to make a thousand of it, it means unconditional love. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's tutorial. May you be happy.